The responsibilities of the state treasurer is best thought of as the state's responsible banker and investment officer. We don't collect the tax dollars and we don't spend the tax dollars, but all those tax dollars, sales tax and income tax, fines and fees, come into the treasurer's office. We make sure that we don't lose a dollar. A dollar lost is measured a little differently in the public sector than a dollar gained. We also want to have the cash available when a teacher needs to be paid or a pothole needs to be filled. And when we're able to have those dollars over the course of time, we want to provide a return on that investment so that we can lower the tax burden for the citizens. You know, there really is no typical day in the state treasurer's office. It's a, it's a great office and it's very dynamic and it's affected by what's going on, not only in the federal government, but both in the state's economy as well. You can think of it in terms of we have an administrative piece of the office that actually helps collect the funds and then we have the banking functions that actually is accountable for the dollars that are brought in. And then the third piece of the state treasurer's office is the investment piece and that's where the portfolio managers are and that's where they actually trade the dollars. I think the most fun part of being the state treasurer is I think it's the most nonpartisan part of state government. You really are a responsible banker and investment officer, so whatever's happening in the economy affects what's going on in that office. If the markets are going up, the value of those portfolios are going up. But if the markets are going down, those portfolios are affected. We have to make certain that we've got our spending aligned so that we don't overspend and we don't run out of money just like people and their own family and small business.